Hello everyone, it's me and Jaya. This video is all about my new stamps I got yesterday. They arrive. I always wanted to have these stamps, stamps by Rin, and I got them now. I had a supply in Germany, so now I have a play with them. I have four a four sheets of stems, and um, two of them are sea creatures, and two of them. Uh, droplets and here you can see the sea, uh, sea creatures 1 and sea creatures 2 and I use stems from both sheets. I cut them already so this is a background, I use it as a background stamp, it's swirly dotty things, very light in, in a blue um, archival ink, forget me not. This is a smaller one even more background stamping and uh, then on the bottom of the sheet of course some corals in festive berries I think it is yeah it is in two different sizes as well and this is the turches I want to use it's absolutely gorgeous but before I stamp it I um, Cut a, or yeah, cut a mask out because I wanted to have a shawl of fish in the background. Try it with this blue distress ink. Only wanted to have a bit in the background, not very. It shouldn't pop up a lot. So, and now I use this water droplets. That's this both. Uh, this two I have. One and two, I love them really great, and I use that one. Yeah, air bubbles coming out from the turtle's mouth, so they're perfect for that. And sorry, what was that? Something got an email. Um, okay, uh, sorry. And then I start to paint the turtles with different. Um, colors of distress ink from the reinkers and um, quite a lot of greens and browns and yeah try to get the right shade in um, and here I used this method Rin showed in one of it in her first tutorial about um, putting water down and taking it off that you take actually the color off out of this droplets and um, that's what I've done here and then I put some triple gloss on on them to make them even shinier. I make the same, I, I, I do the same here down with the corals taking some of the paint off to have some shadings on them as well as on the fish. Uh, but it was all a bit flat and dull to me so I decided to have some embossing heat embossing down there and uh, put some sort of reddish stuff on, I can't remember the paint, uh, the, the colour at the moment. So and then trying to um, get some shade in on the churches as well. As you can see the embossing powder leaves a bit of a metallic sheen to it. So this this has dried now the triple gloss on top. So I put some um, the shading or the reflection. I put some white acrylic on. And um, yeah, but I wasn't and somehow I wasn't satisfied. It was still dull and yeah. Then I tried to um, did a bit of a sketchy um, um, painting around the corals and the fish and. Yeah, I do a bit of uh, shading around the churches and the corals, but still I wasn't satisfied. Somehow it, I didn't like it. It was flat, nothing. And this is a Versamark pen. I put down some stripes and put some um, embossing powder down and a bit more here. You know, it's water, it should have a bit of movement and depth, but I couldn't get it on somehow. So that's what it looked like looks like at the moment. But then I decided look the 
shirt just is too flat it's it's not really popping so that's why I stamped it again and colored it in again with re-inkers and um, I use a bit more friendly colors um, lighter greens a bit of yellow orange and yeah that's what I do here it and of course on top of that when I finished I put some of this triple coat gloss triple what does it call actually triple gloss to make it shinier and uh, after it dried I put it on and it looks much nicer more it has more di dimension definitely more dimension that's where I put the gloss on and you can see that in that moment I put it on uh, this is some glimmer mist stuff or glimmer paint I put on to have a bit more shine on top that the water's um, sparkling more as you can see here already it looks much sparkler I think the, the problem with the distress ink is it is quite dull it is hasn't got any sparkler and so at the end some white acrylic paint dots above the corals and that's it of course a bit of etching but it's definitely the um, I, I'm not doing any more so and that's close up and at the end of course I will show you some pictures of it so that's what I have done with this absolutely fantastic stems I like really like them quality is fantastic and um, I would like to work with it and I think I will do a lot more with it in the future so thanks for watching everyone see you soon with the next video thank you bye bye